What are you doing here? They called me in. Apparently you couldn't handle this one on your own. I'm handling things just fine. This is a special case after all. A hostage situation. The perp inside with a gun. And those cases are a dime a dozen. Not this one. This is a special case. Let me catch you up to speed. The hostage's name is Ali Abdul Rahim, and he appears to be on the FBI's most wanted list for acts of terrorism in association with Al-Qaeda. And the perp? He appears to be Caucasian. In fact, we have no idea who he is. Copy that. I know what needs to be done. Cover me. Okay. You ready? Clear. Madam Comac, come in, vive us. Sir, I need you to put the gun down. I'm the negotiator. What are your demands? You don't understand. He deserves what's coming to him. Don't shoot him. We need that hostage Ma alive. I'm calling that guy down. He speaks English. You speak English, you piece of shit. Speak English. <clears throat> yes, I speak English. And now that I have your attention, negotiator, I have a list of my demands. Listen, I'm not a criminal. My name is Gregory Garcia, and my daughter was killed in the first attack he committed. Stay calm, Gregory. Everything will be fine. What now? It's time for plan B. What's plan B? Your Majesty, Queen Mary. Your Highness, Queen Catherine. Why did you send for me? I must speak with you in private. I'm here in all ears. We have the utmost privacy, so speak, Your Grace. I will not give my blessings to your upcoming nuptials, nor will I appear in court on your wedding day. I wed in two hours' time. What is the reason for this discourse? You had your choice, any of any man within all kingdoms, and you chose to marry my love, Lord Henry Stuart. We are the perfect match. I did not choose for him to hurt you, nor was it my intention to hurt you. But he was promised to me. My father, the king, matched us together when I was just a youngling. Since that day, I've loved him and I've pledged myself to him. An arrangement as a child does not grant you supremacy over him. I love him and he loves me. We are marrying for true love. What could be greater than that? Your thievery is not acceptable. I did nothing of the sort. I cannot steal something that didn't belong to you to begin with. <sighs> you bear a new title to me then. You are Mary, Queen of Steel of hearts that don't belong to you. Were we not dear friends once? Please don't let this union tear apart our friendship. Your friendship is still dear to me. Do not speak to me as if you know the true meaning of friendship. In my eyes, you are no longer my friend. Good day, Your Grace. Then it is a shame we are no longer friends. Today I mourn the loss of a friendship that today I gain a husband and a king. Welcome, Mr. Hunter. I'm Dr. McKay. I'm so happy you decided to come to your appointment today. I'm not my father, so call me James. And yes, I had to. These sessions are court appointed and mandatory. Wait a minute, you're Dr. McKay? How old are you? You seem kind of young to be a shrink. I'm old enough, and I assure you I'm qualified to be your therapist. I just finished my doctorate at Harvard. Harvard. So you grew up with a golden spoon in your mouth? So am I supposed to lay down or something? Whatever makes you comfortable to talk. And the expression is silver spoon, not golden. Hey, Harvard. You say potato, I say potato. You say tomato, I say tomato. My point is, I'm a classic textbook case. I'm trouble with the law, bad life growing up. I'm a perfect mess for you. So all that schooling will finally pay off. Call me Karen. And James, you're not just another case study to me. I want to help you so you don't keep repeating the same patterns over again. I know. The judge said if I miss any sessions, and that's it. I'm done. I go to jail, and I lose my freedom. My life. <sighs> James, I'll make sure that doesn't happen. But you keep coming to appointments, okay? Okay.
I will. Hey, I'm sorry if I was an asshole to you earlier. You didn't deserve it. You should be proud you went to Harvard. I'm just not used to girls like you. What do you mean, girls like me? I'm the classy and educated type. The kind of girl that you can take home and meet your mother. I don't know about that. But this isn't about me, James. This is about you. Of course. But you would make a good girlfriend. You would actually care how my day was going and how I was feeling. When I come home, you would greet me with a smile, a kiss. Um, today's session's over. That's it? It hasn't even been an hour. This was an introductory session. Next week, we'll have an hour, same day and time. What? Goodbye, Mr. Hunter. James, I'll see you next week. <laughs>